cars aren't just for getting you from point A to point B. They're all about speed, power, and style. Buckle up and join us as we count down the top 10 Ford muscle cars that rule the roads. Number 1. 1969 Mustang Mach 1 The Ford Mustang Mach 1 isn't just a car, it's a legend that has left its mark on the automotive world. Originally introduced in 1968, this performance-oriented option package for the Ford Mustang took the world by storm. After its initial run in 1978, the Mach 1 made a comeback in 2003, 2004, and most recently in 2021, proving that its legacy is timeless. The 2003 revival paid homage to the original 1969 model, blending classic design elements with modern technology. But the Mach 1 isn't just about looks, it's also got the performance to match. The 1969 concept Levicar Mach I showcased Ford's innovative approach to propulsion using a cushion of air to move around a circular dais. This forward-thinking design paved the way for the Mach 1's reputation as a high-performance machine. As the Mustang evolved, so did the Mach 1. With the introduction of the 428 Cobra Jet FE engine in 1968, the Mustang was transformed into a true powerhouse. The Mach 1 name was born out of the need to distinguish these high-performance models from the rest, and it quickly became synonymous with speed and adrenaline. Number 2. 2022 Shelby GT500 Imagine stepping into the 2022 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 and feeling like you're strapping into a thrill ride. Its monstrous 760-horsepower supercharged V8 engine launches the coupe with such force that it's like a roller coaster but on the road. The grip is so immense that it'll either give you an adrenaline rush or make your stomach churn, or perhaps a bit of both. And let's not forget the exhilarating exhaust note that serves as the soundtrack to this heart-pounding experience. What sets the Shelby GT500 apart isn't just its raw power, it's also the most powerful road car Ford has ever built. Despite its track-ready performance, the GT500 remains true to its Mustang roots, offering the practicality of a daily driver. To commemorate 55 years since the original Shelby GT500 was introduced, Ford is offering a limited production heritage edition, featuring a stunning Brittany blue paint job with Wimbledon white or absolute black twin stripes. This special edition adds a touch of nostalgia to an already iconic car. Number 3, 2003 Mustang SVT Cobra Terminator. Despite the mixed opinions on the SN95 generation of the Ford Mustang, there are hidden gems within, like the Cobra R and the Ford Mustang SVT Cobra Terminator. Surprising many, including fans of the rival Chevy Camaro, the Terminator stood out. While its appearance may debate, the Terminator's performance is beyond question. Ford's SVT engineers took the Cobra and supercharged it, unleashing a beast with 390 horsepower and 390 pound-feet of torque from its 4.6-liter V8. These figures, though not groundbreaking by today's standards, were revolutionary in 2003. What truly makes the Terminator Cobra special is its historical significance. It was the first time a Detroit automaker had factory fitted a supercharger to a muscle car, a move that reverberates through automotive history. In the world of collector cars, historical importance can significantly impact value, making the Terminator Cobra a highly coveted and valuable piece of automotive history. Number 4. 1967 Shelby Mustang GT500 Leading up to 1967, the Shelby G350 reigned supreme as the pinnacle of Mustang performance. Yet whispers among enthusiasts hinted that Carroll Shelby might have something more potent in store. While the GT350 excelled in speed and agility, it lacked the sheer straight-line power that many sought. Fortunately, Shelby was already planning a response, unleashing what would become one of the most fearsome Mustangs ever created. Enter the 1967 Shelby GT500, a powerhouse that would capture the imaginations of car enthusiasts worldwide and secure its place in automotive legend. When buying a GT500, buyers had a choice between the standard 4-speed Rungs 1 manual transmission or a 3-speed automatic option. The power from the engine was sent to a 3.50 traction lock rear end, enhancing the car's performance and handling. Number 5. Ford Fairlane Thunderbolt 
as drag racing grew in popularity in the 1960s, Ford decided to transform the fair lane into a drag strip powerhouse. Despite its usual status as a standard sedan, the 1964 Ford Fairlane Thunderbolt stands out as a rare and special muscle car. But what exactly makes it so unique? Converting the Fairlane into the Thunderbolt was no easy feat. Ford had success in NASCAR with the Galaxy, but needed something lighter for the NHRA Superstock Racing. They turned to the smaller, lighter 1963 Fairlane chassis. They had to fit a massive 7.0 liter V8 into a hood designed for a smaller Windsor block. They also moved the battery to the trunk and replaced it with a larger one from a bus. In 1964, the Ford Fairlane Thunderbolt was born, featuring an FE Series V8 engine. The car was designed specifically for drag racing, aiming to dominate the NHRA scene. Number 6. 1969 Ford Boss 429 Mustang Ford's decision to create the Boss 429 was driven by a need to compete in NASCAR. To qualify, NASCAR rules required at least 500 cars with the engine to be sold to the public. Ford chose the Mustang to house this new powerhouse, aiming to take on Chrysler's dominant 426 Hemi in the NASCAR Cup Series. However, the Boss 429's NASCAR dreams were dashed by the release of the Dodge Charger Daytona. Ford's response was to focus on making the Boss 429 a road-going performance machine. Despite the setback, the engine was successful in NASCAR and later in NHRA Pro Stock Racing, showcasing its durability and power. Number 7. 1968 Torino GT the late 1960s saw an explosion of budget muscle cars following the success of the Roadrunner. Every muscle car manufacturer rushed to get their stripped-down supercars onto the street. Ford didn't miss out on the action and by 1969 had introduced the Torino GT as its bare-bones intermediate alongside the attention-grabbing Cobra and NASCAR special Talladega models. While the Torino may have been the cream of the crop for Fairlane trims, its upgrades were more about style than substance, offering lower body side moldings, unique emblems, and a crest on the seat pillar over the Fairlane 500. It's a common misconception that the Cobra and Torino Talladega were based on the Fairlane 500 body. In reality, they shared this distinction with the lowest series featuring the fastback design. Number 8. 1971 Mustang Boss 351 Ford's journey through the 1970s was a roller coaster of highs and lows, especially for the Mustang. Just as the era's performance decline was setting in, the 1971 Boss 351 emerged as a beacon of pure, unadulterated power, offering drivers an unforgettable experience behind the wheel. What set this model apart was its unique aesthetic, which leaned more towards the Mac 1 series than the traditional Boss style, signaling a shift in Mustang design. Despite its larger size compared to its predecessors, the Boss 351 remained true to its Boss lineage with features like a pronounced chin spoiler, Boss badging, and a dual-air scoop hood adding to its fierce appearance. However, critics aimed at its sloping rear roof pillars, which created significant blind spots, limiting drivers' visibility. Despite this flaw, the Boss 351 remains a legendary piece of automotive history, representing the last of a bygone era of high-performance Mustangs. Number 9. 2007-2014 Shelby GT500 the era of the early S175 Mustangs heralded a new chapter in performance and at the forefront was the 2007-2009 Shelby GT500, a marvel of power and innovation. While bearing Shelby's name, this Mustang was a product of Ford's special vehicle team. Born out of the need for a successor to the legendary Terminator Cobra, the GT500 wasn't just a car, it was a statement of intent. Ford aimed to create the most powerful and capable Mustang ever, a goal that deeply resonated with Carroll Shelby's original vision for the GT350 and GT500. This was a car that promised to redefine what a Mustang could be. Behind the scenes, the SVT team left no stone unturned in their quest for perfection. Drawing from their experience with the Terminator Cobra, they meticulously engineered every aspect of the GT500 from its forged steel crankshaft to its specially designed aluminum cylinder heads. 
The result was a masterpiece of automotive engineering that not only met but exceeded expectations, setting a new standard for performance. Number 10, 1973 Ford Falcon XB GT. This iteration of the Falcon, including the luxurious Fairmont XB variant, boasted a design that exuded strength and power, setting it apart from its predecessors. The XB series offered more than cosmetic changes. It introduced new features that enhanced performance and comfort. With standard front disc brakes across all models and the option for a plush carpeted interior, the XB Falcon provided an exhilarating and luxurious driving experience. However, the XB Falcon's fame reached new heights on the silver screen, particularly in the 1979 film Mad Max. In this cult classic, the Falcon was immortalized as the Pursuit Special, a sleek and powerful machine driven by the film's iconic protagonist. Beyond Mad Max, the Falcon continued to make appearances in various films, including sequels and reboots, showcasing its timeless appeal and enduring legacy. Today, the XB Falcon remains a symbol of Australian automotive history, revered for its performance, style, and role in pop culture. And there you have it, guys. Comment your favorite models down below. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more, and I'll catch you again next time.